Hi, this is Lolo Beauty. Welcome to my channel. And y'all, I really just want to get into the tea that allegedly dropped today. Why Martel mad that Sheree went public and said they was dating? Why? I told y'all in my last video, Sheree, this is not a good look for you. Martel need to work on himself before he can do anything with anybody. He still got a lot of baggage with him. And I mean coleslaw because he's still been in Ariane ear telling her things that she want to hear and they say that Tasha K talked to Martel I don't think Tasha K talked to Martel I think Tasha K talked to Ariane because she wanted to know the tea she did not talk to Martel Ariane already had did a sit down interview with her so it wasn't nothing for her to reach out to Ariane and be like what's going on with this Sheree and Martel situation it ain't nothing but coleslaw getting in the mix now well Martel told me that he is mad that she is a liar, that she he don't know why she went in the media saying that. I can just see Ariane Curry getting on live, even telling us, uh-uh, I know, I know. See, I know. I'm up on everything Martel be doing. This ain't nothing but Ariane, y'all. This is nothing but Ariane. She don't know how to sit her ass down and move on. She, he is doing this. If he did do that, it's for Ariane. It's to calm her down. He play he playing crazy with Ariane brain right now and she gonna flip the shit on him. Cause she already done flipped on us. Martel, you next. So you better tread lightly. And I feel like you messing with a psycho. Because that's this song this ain't looking too good. Cause I really don't think it was Martel that said that to Tasha K. I think it was Ariane basically saying what Martel said because she believed everything Martel tell her. Martel told you that so you won't be acting like a crazy person. Him and Sheree are dating. We seen him out in public. We seen the roses he sent. He ain't over there building no pool. He building the pool, but that's not all he doing over there. And we can all see that looking up from the outside looking in. We ain't even got to be on the inside to see that he ain't just over there building no pool. But once again, whatever he tell Ariane, she is going to believe it. And that's what she ran with. And I think she spread it that to the bloggers. And now the bloggers are putting out there that Martel was mad. No, Martel was not mad. Ariane was mad. Let's clear it up. Ariane Curry was mad. And Martel said, no, it ain't true. It ain't true. No, you can't believe everything you hear in the media. You know, she, I don't know why she went and said that we dang. You can't believe everything. That's just to keep the, keep this girl at bay because he will not, oh my God, he will not leave this girl alone. He don't want peace in his life. That's why I said, Sheree, you better than that. Leave him alone. He got a lot of baggage with him and he is a womanizer and you need to realize that now. Leave him where he at because where he go, Ariane is going. And not because Ariane, you know, not only because she's crazy, it's because Martel drags her along. He's going to drag Ariane along in every relationship he enters. Ariane will always be the faithful side chick. He can get married next week. He can get married 10 years from now. And I promise you, Ariane going to still be there. She ain't going to never leave. She's going to always play the side piece position because even if she got a little bit of Martel, she feel like she has all of Martel. She feel like she is just irresistible to Martel. And this is getting out of hand to me. Martel, you putting yourself in a dangerous situation. It's looking like fatal attraction. So you better stop messing with her head before it really, really, really end up uh, in a before you really end up in a bad situation. I'm getting tongue tied. I'm so heated because I just felt like that Sheree should not even do business with this man, get involved with this man because I feel like he a womanizer. He probably done went and tricked her out her panties with his good looks. And now he back on, he back on his demon time. That's all I'm going to say. And Arian is flipping the shit on him. And he lying to Arian. And now it's in the media that he mad that Sheree did that. No, it all goes back to one individual. And it's Arian Curry. And I do feel like she got a hold on Martel in some kind of way. Because he keep lying to this girl. Egging her on. Making her go crazy. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. But this is just wild to me. And I don't believe it happened the way they saying it's happening in the media. I believe Arian Curry was behind all of this. And he said he did what needed to be done so she won't be acting a fool on him and keeping his son away from him and stuff. Because I don't care what nobody say. I feel like if Martel make the wrong move, she going to keep this, that, that child away. And he know he need to be doing wellness checks on that child. So the last thing he need is for his son to be ripped up out his care.
period. Think about it, y'all. Think about it. Um, But y'all let me know what y'all think.